Go ahead and hit that record button. Hello to the YouTubes. Hello, hello, hello. You think it was supposed to, but you had gotten them secondhand and didn't know the proper order for the games at the time. I mean, fair enough, dude. I get it. You know what I mean? I can't say that I wouldn't have done the same, like, <laughs> when I was young. I was probably... How old was I whenever I first got them? Or not got them, but first played them. I don't know, probably around like 14-ish, give or take. And then I played more around the time I was like 17-ish. I rented them. And yeah. Middle school. I can't remember if I was in... I, I want to say I was in middle school as well. But you know what? It's fine, man. Hey. <laughs> we, all, we all make mistakes, you know? Nobody's perfect. That's fine. Let's get into the game. I always loved how whenever we get into it here, the game itself, like the UI for it, is set up like it's a, uh, like a desktop for a computer. Is there anything? I don't think we need to change anything. Looks good. Movie text? It's on. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. New game, dude. Let's just get right into it. I'm, uh, I'll let the cutscene play before I say my piece. Very mysterious, very mysterious. Nate, what's up, my guy? I thought you were sleeping, to be honest. Und sie treffen sich am Fuße des Regenbogens. Die verfluchte Welle muss gemeinsam bekämpft werden. Der See von Alba brodelt. Der große Baum des Lichts fällt. Alle Macht zerfällt zu Tropfen im Tempel von Arche Köln. Wesen ohne Schatten. Ihre Welt zerfällt zu nichts. Der Mann des Schattens auf der Suche nach dem Abenddrachen kehrt niemals mehr zurück. It's always the Germans. Uh, <laughs> what was I even saying now? Shit, I can't remember. Nope. It's not coming to me. Memory's gone. Desktop. Okay. Oh, User I remember what I was saying now. Um, I'm torn on whether I want to put this on the list of games to complete or not. I'd better hurry. Like, one part of me wants to because it's a series that I just personally want to beat. I'm going to turn down the game just a little bit. Um, but at the other, like, on the other hand, I'm not sure it's a really good game for streaming, you know what I mean? Like, speaking of, I should probably update things real quick. I'm a professional, I promise. Uh, dot hack. I just type in part one, will it come up? Okay, well, infection comes up, that's good enough. Go away, you. Done. There we go. That's better. Username. Uh, I just put my name, I guess. Stream. T R E A. Am. Enter. Character name Kite. That's fine with me. Yes. Let's go. You'd watch it play to completion, but it's one of those kind of obscure cult following games. Yeah. Well, not only that, but the gameplay it tends to be very repetitive and fairly slow as well which is why i was saying earlier like if i wouldn't necessarily say that it, it's held up that well you know particularly well over time uh it's still my a game that i'm a I'll big fan of but <laughs> i don't know if you'd really want to if anybody would really want to sit down and watch however many hours of it played like System of the World has been updated to version 2.75. With this update, the following elements have been added. Monster Tolerance. For a group of monsters, certain physical slash magical attacks will cause zero damage because of their defense mechanisms. Elemental Hit. Attack with elemental skills that are opposite the monster attribute and will result in double 2x of the damage. Treasure Chest Items. You may obtain different items depending on the type of treasure chest. Many items are now available from the God Statue. For more detail, please see the version update information listed on the board. Remember getting frustrated exploring the gates of the kid? It got very exactly. That's the thing. Like I said, it, it hasn't aged particularly well. It is extremely repetitive. <laughs> like some of the the different gates are 
interesting interesting in like how they look a bit different uh from each other you know there's a couple new creatures and things but after you explore from memory i'm happy to be proven wrong but from memory once you explore like a half dozen or so different gates um you've basically seen like <laughs> everything there is to see outside of you know bosses and cutscenes and and things like that Thank you for registering. This is a notification email to complete the registration process. The world, the game, is compromised to several servers. The adventure begins by inputting codes at the chaos gates in root towns, which are located in each of the servers. Let me introduce each of the servers and root towns. Aqua Capital, Highland City, Cultural City, Aerial City, Relic City, and that's pretty much it. I can't remember on this disc, on part one, I think you only have access to the first two. It may even be only the first one. I had a code breaker as a kid, and I used that a lot for games whenever I just wanted to screw around with them. And uh, so I can't remember how much of the game was purely, like, included in the game and how much I just kind of unlocked from messing around with the code breaker. Like, the MMO that wasn't really an MMO. It's like Final Fantasy XI, my guy. Or 12? 12. 11. Which one was the MMO? 12. 11 was the MMO. Final Fantasy 12. <laughs> huh! You actually thought there were going to be legit updates if you were connected to the... That would have been really cool, though. Hey, did you finish registering? What kind of character are you? Oh, and like I said at school, you regret it if you use a smart-ass name. I'm Orca the in the world, so keep that in mind. Don't call me by my real name. You can be a different person when you're there. Well, more like the guy you want to be anyways. I'll be in Root Town. Very cool. Now can we read the news? New transport system operational. I never really quite understood the point of like the news updates i guess just to make it feel more you know realistic the world tops 20 million sales damn sona has announced that it will soon sell a new head mounted video displayed called the neuro goggle fmd it's customized for the popular cc corporation game the world retail price has not yet been set product features compatible with the mega popular online game the world lightweight with a rainbow eye coating maximum of 100 hour consecutive use are using the CC iron battery. 100 hours consecutive use. Dude, could you imagine like an Oculus Rift or something with 100 hours of consecutive use? That would actually be pretty sick. Uh, the sound recognition device has evolved to near perfection with a less than half percent error rate. When switched to chat mode, it recognizes the pauses by the speaker and translates them to its dot 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 dot. The day may come when keyboards are obsolete. I remember reading a lot of stories about that like when I was a kid about like all this crazy tech that's coming out you know whether it was voice to, to text or like the 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 goggle things you would put on your head and you would be able to just control your computer with that and stuff and then like none of that really ended up being a thing i mean text is, or speech to text i guess a thing but the world network council announced today that the market penetration of the network all s os ultimate has reached almost 100 percent around the globe this means that all network computer terminals in homes or businesses are now comp compatible with ultimate WNC Public Relations stated that the Pluto Kiss incident of December 2005 and the two-year period following the incident, commonly known as Twilight of the New Gods, is now only a page in history. Some officials state that after six emotional years of ups and downs, the new generation hypernet plan proposed in April of 2004 has finally been fulfilled. Uh, very neat. Uh, isn't one of these, like... I thought one of them was, like, purple-esque. Maybe that's something you have to unlock later. Remember correctly, the PS2 games all came with an anime DVD. I think the news bits were meant to tie. Quite possibly. Sadly, the copies I bought. Hold on, let me grab my box here. Ugh. I got them for a pretty decent price, so I can't be too mad. But, oh god, it's so overexposed. I had to hold it at a weird angle. But anyways, here's the box. Like, it's in pretty decent condition and everything. And they were marketed as being complete in box. Um, but, like, there's the manual and all that. But what it didn't come with was the anime DVD. The camera's, like, cutting it off. But there you go. You can see it there. Hey, what's up, man? Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, no DVD in there. It was just the, just the game, the manual. It does have the registration card, which, I mean... It's cool, I guess. I'm not <laughs> I'm not that hardcore of like a collector where I need everything to be 100% complete in box and all of that stuff. I just want a playable copy of all of the games is, is my big thing. You need to remaster the OG series on PSD. Yes, I agree 100%. 
Although I think for the modern day, they would need to add a bit more to the game, you know, to, to round it out a little bit because it is, uh, as we were talking about earlier, it can get a bit repetitive and things like, you have the game dismantle you on the ball. I mean, yeah, yeah, and don't get me wrong, I'm happy for that, but I do wish I had the anime DVD in it though. What's a skill? Missing skills. Thanks, still can't use skills. Uh, can you cast a spell on all? Can you cast a spell on all? About defense. A lot of good information here, I'm sure. I just hate in pretty much any game having the, the pop-ups telling me that there's something new. What are the opposing elements? Wood, earth, thunder, darkness, fire, water. Okay. I'll probably forget that. Whatever. They're too strong. Check the board. Hey, by the way... Plus, if I remember correctly, some of these board things can actually, like, give you new gate codes and stuff like that. Like, congratulations. Even put them on the PlayStation Plus Premium game. That would be pretty cool, especially because, like, the first two games, which are the two that I own, part one and part two, uh, not too bad price-wise. The third one, I think, is around, like, $60. Still not too, too bad. A little expensive for how old they are. Um, but you know, not ridiculous, but then the third game's like, what, 200, 250 dollars or something like that? For, for the, did I say third? For the fourth game, for the final game. Which is just insane for a game that's, you know, going on 20 years old now. It's just crazy, but, also, hello Chocobo, I don't know if I said hello when I saw you earlier, but I saw you pop in, my guy. Straw Millionaire? I don't remember what this one is. Noodle, thank you so much for the 5 bits, love. Starting with Cat's Blades, and after trading several times, I got the legendary Megiddo wand. I never thought I would get something this good. Okay. Symbol. All kinds of symbols and stuff. Version upgrade. I just want to clear all these stupid messages, please. Okay. There we go. Login! For the first time. First login. Let's go. Aqua Capital Macanu. Macanu? I don't think it looks terrible. Like, I don't think hey, it aged poorly that way. It. Just gameplay mechanics-wise. Uh. Apparently I need to turn it down just a little bit more. Uh. I don't know. Hopefully right about there is okay. Hey, it's me, Orca, the Blade Master. Whoa! You look so different from the real Yasuhiko. Nothing like the real you. Hey, in this game, I'm Orca. Regardless of what I am in reality, I'm pretty well known here. What? No, you look great. Right, honestly, like, up-res the, the textures a little bit in it here. Add some anti-aliasing, maybe give it a 16 by 9 patch or something like that, and it would look pretty good, legit. Anyway, take this. Member address is the flash mail address you can only access in the world. With flash mail, you can exchange messages with others in real time, as long as you are in the world. It's mostly used by newbies to contact other players to form a party. The way step on Orca, though? Mm. <laughs> Try it out by inviting me to join your party. First, press the truck in the menu, select park. Next, name. Yep, 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 I got it. Okay. At Orca, calling, you're right next to me. There we go. See? My name appears under your screen. That, by the way, flash mail is only available when you're in a town. Oh, and you can't contact people when they're not logged into the world. The mail system only being available in town never quite people made sense to me, life, but... You know, we're not online 24-7. You're not? In other words, Dude, what are you, you can't even doing with your life? on the same members to form a party. So, try to get as many member addresses as you can. You'll have more fun that way. Well, how you play is up to you. But since EXP and stuff isn't divided among party members, you really don't benefit if you go solo. Okay. Well, why don't we head off? There's nothing to worry about. I found a perfect place for newbies. And then we all die. This is the Chaos Gate sort of transfer device that takes us from one place to another. Now, press the X button. 
in the world. Each play zone is called an area. Honestly, the the word system, the for the the codes for the gates, I think is kind of neat to be honest with you, you know what I mean? Cuz it just gives you such like a breadth of of areas that you can explore. Which is really cool. My only problem with it is is that it gets fairly repetitive. Like, most of the areas are, are very similar to each other. Um, but with modern technology, I think it would be really cool to revisit. Uh, which is why I think it would be really cool if they did a, a proper remake. Like, not necessarily a remaster. Although I would love a remaster even. Because, again, the games are kind of expensive and I want to play through them. But a, a proper remake to add a little bit of new content make all the the different areas a little more interesting a little more different maybe put a couple more like secret areas and easter eggs and stuff in that'd be really cool select new keyword this is the keyword screen you let, i know how it works now select good next for part b for the last one in part bursting C, passed over aqua field specific. let's go oh one more thing you see the si that's the server symbol it indicates which server you are currently logged on to. This symbol is Delta, so we're logged on to the Delta server. The list on the bottom right is the area status list. See the jewel next to the field type and dungeon? Yep, that yep. That indicates how the selected keyword affects the status. For example, check the field type. See the jewel on the right? Yep, the little red thing. This means that the field type is being determined by Aqua Field, the keyword in C. What do the colors mean that I actually don't remember? The current keyword will create until we get there. But once we learn the effect of that keyword, we can combine it with other keywords effectively. For more details, check out the board on your own time. All right, let's get going to select warp. I'm assuming it's just like it starts as red, then when there's two affecting it, it turns green, and then when there's three, it turns blue. Just to help you like visualize quickly that you know it's like more than one thing is affecting it but i'm not sure before we get going let me explain to you about the camera control during the game enemies will attack from all directions the idea is to adjust your view quickly to see your enemy and grasp the situation i'll explain more later but remember you can only use skills on targets you can see Makes basically sense. if you don't use the camera right You'll be dead before you know it. First, rotate the camera. Push either the L1 button or the R1 button to move the camera. Hot take uh, that I've mentioned before. Next, I actually like the R1 L1 camera out. system that a lot of PS2 games use. You can zoom the camera in or out by using the right analog stick. Try it. Yeah, that's it. Got this. Finally. Reset the camera by push. There you go. Remember, when the battle starts, constantly adjust your camera. Okay. And this is the field. It's the lowest level in the area. When you want to return to the town, press the triangle button and select Gate Out from the menu. Grassland, do that. wilderness, and jungle are some of the field types. The combination of field type and weather determines the area. For example, if it's a grassland and it's raining, that area will be a water element. The elements also I'm going to forget all of this information of anyways, it's pointless. <laughs> you kind of agree with me on that one? It just I don't know, I just like having my, you know, my my right thumb freed up to be hitting buttons while turning the camera and stuff. And I mean, technically you could have this like control a menu or something like that too while you're running around, uh, kind of like Kingdom Hearts 1 style and stuff like that, you know? I just now, I don't know. Let's get I like going on I like quest. these buttons. First check the map at top right you see got the map down arrow on it that's the dungeon in the dungeon's deepest level there's a got basic get rare items the in the dungeon but enemies okay, enemies are tougher in the second. dungeon the deeper you get makes sense use are the fairy orb to show us the things up. we can go to the things All to right. encounter monsters and stuff gotcha we got this my guy for a bait by the way so nice that the enemy decided to just kind of so chill while Orca uh, explains all this to us. Get wrecked. Oh god, dude. <laughs> we suck. Bruh, <laughs> just hit the dude. Come on. My lord. 
started to get the hang of it, right? Okay, let's try using skills. <laughs> Press the triangle button to open the menu and select... Okay, then. Choose rep from the list. When the target cursor appears, select the target and press. That's that the speed it. one? Freeze, I don't remember. Huh? Oh no, that's the healing one. You okay. Can target a party member for recovery. Remember, before you. What? Just the camera so you can see yeah. stuff. You must be sick huh? of me at this point. Yeah, pretty much. Okay then. Next. Ah, he must be sick of me. Oh, let me tell you more. Bruh. It's good to be the boss, isn't it? If you use it well, you can bunch up on the enemy or give separate orders to each party member. When that's it for now. Just remember what you learn. When you All right, let's go. Now we can actually do stuff. Uh, let's go here. Kill him. Probably he just fucking hits him for five thousand. We're over here hitting him for eleven. Like, bruh. Uh, is it possible for us to use this this early on? It's weird also, I find, that they, they mentioned using, like, R1 and L1 to turn the camera, but the right stick also does turn the camera. Like, I don't know, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Aw, oh, damn, we have nothing to throw in. Lame! The joys of playing with that one overleveled friend. I don't know, man. That gets kind of annoying to me personally. You know what I mean? Like, sure, it's good for getting a bunch of quick levels, but at the same time, it's like, bruh, I'm kind of here to play the game, you know? Not just to <laughs> wreck everything within view instantly. Can we collect these things now? We can. These are good for the, uh, I forget what they're called. They mentioned them on the board, but the, the pig things that we can ride around on eventually. We need some of this stuff to feed them. Your Diablo 3 experience. I cannot get into Diablo 3, man. <laughs> like, a grunt, grunt, grunty. That's what they're called. Grunty with a, right? With a, with a T? I think that's what they're called. Nice for getting through super early levels and stuff, but that's fair. Yeah, and I mean, I'm not going to knock how anyone wants to play their games, you know what I mean? If that's how you want to do it, then by all means. But I, like, when I'm playing MMOs and stuff, I actually kind of enjoy the grind. It probably comes from the fact that I played a shit ton of RuneScape as a kid. You know what I mean? So, like, <laughs> that game is nothing but grinding constantly. So, I kind of like the grind in now JRPGs and uh, MMOs dungeon. and stuff like that. So, just being, like, inst-leveled from 1 to, I don't know, 40, 50, something like that is just kind of like, bro, you kind of just took away the part of the game I like. <laughs> One thing you need to remember is that you can't gate out when you're in a dungeon. There's items for that, though. Return to the I don't town. remember what they're called, but you I remember there's an item that lets you get out of the dungeon Ocarina early. Will that one. You to the surface. This is the treasure box. But you knew you. This. Hey, resurrect scroll. Nice. And then we got booby traps. Booby Notice a different color. Just... Can I just try to open it instead? No, he won't let me. <laughs> the hanged man. How do we see our items? What do these do? Uh, da -da -da -da. Speed charm. Hanged man. Paralysis. Unable to move. Okay. Cool, cool. Tried so hard to breed a rare grunty. Always ended up with a skeleton looking one. I don't even remember. I had a couple grunties. Or like I did breed a couple. But I don't remember what they were. They were probably junk. Let's be honest. But <laughs> the only game I spent a lot of time breeding in was uh, Final Fantasy VII, man. I had to get that golden chocobo. I don't think you're meant to be here. And that monster doesn't look good for newbies. That monster looks scary. Did you just see that? Yeah. Was that thing chasing her? Yeah, but something like that on this level? Dun dun dun. Sure that won't come back to haunt us at all. Now they were going to the right, so surely we should go to the right first as well, right? That's got to be the right way to go. Wait, it's a dead end? Ha! De huh! <laughs> English doesn't work. It's a dead end. More speed charms? Thanks, thanks. Now, was it just chest or 
Okay. It was just, it must have just been breakables. I remember there was a thing that, uh, you could, like, farm consumables if you wanted to by just, like, leaving a room and coming back constantly. Like, over and over again. But I'm assuming that's because there's also, like, boxes out. you We're can break and shit and you can get basic consumables from. With traps everywhere. A dedende? <laughs> dedende. The, the Pokemon. The only way to get out of a trap like this is by activating all the magic portals in the room. All right, let's charge to that magic portal. Let's go. Damn, dude. Creature about one shot. Me, are you gonna drop anything? No. You suck. Well, <laughs> I hate to say it, but you guys have pretty much already seen what the whole game's about. <laughs> there is one more uh, special ability that we're gonna unlock, but uh, <laughs> this is pretty much it. That's that's the whole game. <laughs> Outside of bosses and uh, like getting extra characters, you know what I mean. This is this is the entire game. You you load into a, a random overworld. You you run around up there collecting whatever you want to collect, and then you come down into the dungeon. You explore through it and you repeat. And all the while you're fighting basically the same like six enemies. It's uh <laughs> it's good stuff honestly. Do we have any of those? Yeah, fortune wires. Ooh, a leather coat. Oh. So that should be equipment. Oh, it must not be for... Oh, there it is. So it removes fireball, but gives us earth. I mean, whatever. It's better defense and evade. And I'm assuming that's, like, life or something, this one. Prevents curse, sleep, charm, confusion, and magic down. Okay, so that's just, like, magic resist or something. <clears throat> now, what we could do is we could run all the way back up to the top, and that fountain, that random, like, thing of water... Oh, my God, thank you so much for the 100 this bits, my guy. I appreciate that. Is. Um... You can, like, throw in equipment, and there's, there's a chance that you'll get something the better. There's a way to, like, cheese it, but... And you can get rare items from it. That's enough adventure for now. Let's grab the treasure. And get... If we had a Sprite Oak Arena, we could warp out of here. But we don't have one. Wait, don't I have a Sprite oh, Oak Arena? Go back the way... Uh, I'll grab it. I want to explore that room we haven't explored yet. But... Runt doll, yellow candy. It's all about that candy. Oh, noodles, stop crying. <laughs> not skills. It's uh, not items. I'm bad at video games. Equipment. Steel blades. Can we use those? We can. Gives us tiger claws. Spin like a top and slash at high speed. Twin. Continuously slash at high speed. Uh, I mean this one's got better stats, so. And I know nothing about all of the different abilities. I can't remember what any of them do. She's just crying because she's not the number one bit donator now. <laughs> For the month. <laughs> That's legit the only reason she's crying. She doesn't... It's not actually that big of a deal. She just... We pick on her all the time. <laughs> Chocobo and her have gotten to a few uh, bit, bit donation wars over the... the my god, I was going to say years, and I was like, no, it hasn't been that long. And I was like, oh shit, it has been about a year and a half, two years now. <laughs> about a take year and a half, this. I guess. <gasps> Please take this. There's no time. Please. What's this? A great force. The power it holds can bring forth either salvation or destruction at the whim of the user. You're... It's coming. Uh, do you want to give us more information than that? Or are you just going to... It's coming and then peace out, dude. It's basically what my dad did. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah! <laughs> kill you. What about you, my guy? Besides, these are just avatars in a game. It's no big deal. Use the book, my guy. Oh, 
Oh, well, he's fucked. <laughs> For milk and cigarettes. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I don't think Twitch is the right place to get into that history. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Orca got fucked. Not in a good way. way. I'm sorry. Get out of here. I love how he's being like so dramatic, but it's like just avatars in a game, right? Like, okay, spoiler. Things in the game end up affecting people in real life, but like they don't know that at this point in time that it's gonna affect us in real life or anything like that. So, like, the fact that he's being so dramatic about it, like, <laughs> it's fucking weird, dude. Noodle sad because you see all these Walmarts getting all the Squishmallows and our local one gets nothing. I don't know what you want us to do about that, though. Like, like we all we can do is keep checking them. And <laughs> I don't know. Gengar and Pikachu, but Walmarts are getting boxes and boxes of clips and others. Mm -mm -mm. I'm sure they'll come to our local Walmart sooner or later. Mystery sparkly book. And it goes inside of us. <laughs> Not weird at all. Still waiting for us to get something. Didn't we get Noodle... Didn't didn't our Walmart have some of the Pokemon plush at some point? I feel like... I thought we had saw one or two of them at one what time. With no? Maybe not. I thought you upset. had seen them, so maybe not then. What's wrong with the Yasuhiko? Uh, he already said I that. I wanted to ask him, but he wouldn't even pick up the phone. You done pissed him off, dude. That's why. And then? Oh, wait. Did we choke about? I thought that Noodle had saw them. So, like, if Noodle didn't see them, then I never saw them. <laughs> I must be thinking of one of the thousand other Squishmallows that she's wanted over the years. Um, but, yeah, did did we get them in? Noodle might cry. <laughs> Legit the next cry. Day, I found out that Yasuhiko had been hospitalized. Aw, oh, snap, dude. I rushed to the hospital, but they wouldn't even let me see him. But I guess it's better this way. I didn't want to see him all week, and he wouldn't want that either. Too true, but too true. What the hell happened to him? Kind of surprised the Gengar sold quick. I'm not, or first, rather. I'm not surprised they sold quick, because, like, every Squishmallow seems to sell super quick. I but, have like, a feeling yeah. that the key to it is somewhere in the world. Obviously, yeah. This new VR game everyone's playing is what caused my friend to go into a coma. To all users of the world, we apologize for the inconvenience due to problems with our servers. Currently, we are focusing our efforts in finding the cause of the problem. However, in order to proceed efficiently, we will limit play to only the Delta and uh, Beta server? I don't know what that means. <laughs> thank you for your understanding. No, thank you, CC Corporation. <laughs> Anyone sees any, I need one of each. Just one of every Squishmallow, basically, for the love of God. All services are currently unavailable due to maintenance. We apologize for any inconvenience and ask for your patience. I Damn it. <laughs> if SAO taught us anything, VR can kill you. <sighs> SAO had so much potential, man, and then it just got ruined. My friend is in a coma after playing this game. He's hospitalized and still isn't out yet. But do these things actually happen? Does anyone know the reason? Anyone know someone else in the same state? How can I get him out of the coma? The people who made the game look here too, right? Please give me some kind of information. Thank you. And then we leave. And... Then we go back. Oh wait, we got mail. To the one who... Something stole the book. Uh, that is something for me. That is, that is, hmm. <laughs> something, please help me. 
to the one who T O O S T stole the book. That is There is no time, please help me. But what does the line I don't think it's stole? I don't know, man. To the one who It's five letters. Hmm. Something the book. T A G R E. No. There's. Uh, the, mm -hmm. Holds. Ah, maybe. Holds the book. Uh, something is something for me. There is. Mm. Does the exclamation to the one who. Blank is looking for me. They no. I don't know. Hmm. Who sent this? I can't read it. No, me neither, my guy. And it, I wonder, like, is it an actual cipher? Like, do they line up? Because if they do, then if it's to the one who holds the book, then the first letter of the word that we're not sure of at all would be H, right? Then the greater than symbol I don't see anywhere. I. Don't see that. The T would be the letter T. Uh, I, I guess, would be I. L O D. Dollar sign. Uh, see, no, I, I don't think it is a simple cipher. Either that or it's not uh, blank is looking for me. Because to the one who, W H O. So the last letter would be O for what we think is looking. So either it's not like a normal cipher and it's just legit corrupted text or uh, or we got it a little off. I'm sure it's all over the place online, but I'd like to look it up and find out what it says. But that'd be spoilers. We ain't going to do that. Hey, don't you know it's uh, impolite to stare, my guy? <laughs> what is it? You got something to say? No. Oh, I get it now. You are a newbie, aren't you? I might have guessed. <laughs> well, are you or not? Come on now, don't be shy. The IRS is me. looking for me. <laughs> not the IRS. Listen, the bane of my existence. Like you're not a newbie, Black Rose. You have no idea what's going on. I forget which service it was on, but I I started rewatching it. Oh God! At this point, it must have been like nine years ago or something. It's been a while. I think it was on Hulu, maybe. I don't remember. I never did get around to, to finishing it. Guess I'll get my gear first. I want to collect some information as well. Okay, so if I remember correctly, this is the save. Yeah, the recorder spot. Then over here, this is potions, like healing items and shit. It's common sense to uh, take along plenty of healing medicine. If you have SP recovery medicine, you'll never have to worry about overusing your skills. Health drink, major soul, antidote, restorative. Uh, does it say anywhere how many we have on us of these things? Or do we just have nothing? No, we do have a handful of stuff, so it must just not tell us how many we have of each. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Bye. Uh, I mean, I don't think we need anything right now. Hi, Black Rose. You again. I'm busy right now. Can't you just leave me alone? Uh, you're mean. Uh, another thing, since they're trying to, like, emulate an MMO, you can talk to random people. Uh, but you can also trade with them, and I think... If memory serves, that's how you get <clears throat> some of, like, the best stuff in the game. Is by trading with them. 
I, I never 100% understood how that system works, but... And then... Okay, this is the bank. Because you can only carry so much with you at a time. That makes sense. And then... What is... Weapons. That makes sense. And each type of character can only use certain kinds of items or, or weapons and things. Which is fine. I've always been more of a fan of the system where, like, any class can use any item, but they may not be proficient in it. I've always been more of a sign, fan of that. Sign is so good, you couldn't get into the others as a kid, but like, liked them in a rewatch. So I'm going to have to go back and watch them again, man. The RS is looking for the death of this game and his daughter's list as a beneficiary, so he hit her so her assets wouldn't be seized. My god, dude. Tragic. You just started playing? Me too. You have a lot cooler gear than I have, dude. How are you? I'm just wonderful. Hi, what level are you? Uh, I feel like that's a rude question to ask. Drinking protein right now, but it's so gross. No, of any way to make it go down easier? Uh, peanut butter and coffee powder with a little bit of banana. Um, if dump your protein in there, put some milk in, and blend it all up smooth, my guy. There you go. That's how you make it easier. Heavy axemen are so slow. I should have been a twin blade. Same. <laughs> and then the last one, I think they're scrolls, actually. If I remember correctly, switch it by here, right? Yeah, all kinds of scrolls. <laughs> no more buttermilk ranch. I'm sorry, love. I'm assuming you don't really care for the buttermilk ranch. It's okay. I do agree that the regular ranch we buy is usually better, but oh well. Beggars, choosers, all that stuff. I remember reading on like game FAQs and stuff like that about there being like certain characters to look out for because like you want to talk to them to get like the trades for the best items in the game and stuff like that. But I, I don't remember any of that stuff though, man. I can save your data. Don't forget to stop by often during your adventure. We should probably save. I don't think I've ever had a problem with this game crashing or anything, but you know, just in case. That's one of the things I really love about the PS2, or just older games in general. Crashing is pretty rare on them. I mean, to be fair, console games in general don't crash that much, at least in my personal experience. Um, but these days, being like mainly a PC gamer, still don't get too many, but oh lord, when it happens, is it annoying. What I don't miss about the PS2 is the long-ass loading time or saving times. Holy shit, dude. Took forever. Unless it's that amusement park game you played. Did it crash on us? <laughs> I don't... Wait a sec. Oh. Yeah, like every time we... Did it crash or did it... I don't remember. I, I remember the game, but I don't remember exactly what happened. Yeah, you. I, uh... I know some interesting keywords. If you go with me. I'll tell you what they are. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe next time. <laughs> no, by all right means, on. let's go. That's the spirit. Spoken like a true newbie. You now have Black Rose's member address. The keywords are Delta, Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. That doesn't sound like a place we should be going. Just gonna be real with you. Uh, new keyword. Hidden, forbidden, holy ground. It's the best part. Hit save, then go use restroom, grab a snack, finish a show, then it may be done. It's a feature, man. Of course, of course. What was I thinking? <laughs> Ooh. This Whoa, is a lot different than before. This place is... Huh? Enjoy it while it lasts. You won't see places Never like this that go. often. Well, are you going to escort me like a proper gentleman? I dislike her, by the way. <laughs> like, uh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's just one of the uh, the rewards that you can uh, that you can do on on Twitch with your with your channel points. You're welcome to vote for anything you want to vote for, of course. Your vote will still be tracked. I just don't know when we'll get around to to playing it. Plus, I do some level of randomization with everything, so yeah, just because I like <laughs> random chaos so bullshit. That's it. Pretty weak, huh? What do you know? You didn't even need my help at all, did you? It's almost like you're the noob here. Are you sure you've played this game before? Oh, you're a dick, dude. <laughs> Controller's upside down. Scathe. Enus. Magus. I can't read anything else. The inscription is faded. Hopefully this cutscene lasts way. for five minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess you can tell that I'm a newbie too. I had a feeling. Like a scared little baby? Yeah, that kind of gave you away, my guy. But you still hung out with me. You know what? You're nicer than I thought. I got scared when I saw another redeem happening, dude. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What? What about you, huh? No time to explain. It's too dangerous here. I'm telling you to get Look at Bo and the Egberts. What was the other Egberts name? We had Bo, Egbert, and I think once. Noodle named the other one, but I don't remember what it was. Exmeralda. Of course. This one is well. This monster looks a little Tell fucked up. They just shut down the damn game. <laughs> I don't, don't understand. You uh, can't kill it. Leave it be or you'll be killed. Hate to see it, dude. Again with people acting so dramatic though, like unless they all know. I guess maybe at this point they could all know about the you know what happens in the game fucks you up in real life thing the book the power it holds can bring forth either salvation or destruction at the whim of the user use the installation book book of twilight <laughs> We're level one with like no gear though. I think it's okay. Like, <laughs> ooh, look at us with our fancy digs now. Get wrecked. The way we scream, it sounds unpleasant for us, to be honest, using that thing. Now, Virus Core M. There's a thing that messes you up in real life in the in the anime slash game universe. That skill. Now, I understand. You are the same as the virus. To think that I was saved by someone like you. So fucking dramatic, dude. I just no. saved your character's life. <laughs> That's not... I don't even know what's... Do not lie to me. Recently, is that a, many places is that a wife the joke? world have joke been about... damaged by a virus. <laughs> Those who willfully spread the virus... The thing that virus, messes you up in real life, it's in the kitchen. for their own amusement. <laughs> they... They shall receive oh. no mercy. No, that's not me. I. 
I did not expect to find the one who was not okay. So soon. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Draw your sword now. I won't. There's no reason to do that. I wish we could just fucking data drain him real quick, dude. No, I don't want to fight. I just I Vegeta, what happens if we data drain a player character? What is the matter with you? I don't think we ever get the chance to, to find to out. Someone who just saved your life. I want to though. He's a dick. <laughs> I'm only gonna data drain the bad guys, man. I still do not trust you. I just it's require still bad. <laughs> time to think this through. No, it's like uh, you are Kila and uh, and 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 Death Note, man. I we'll just be light. <laughs> Hydrate silence. What's up, my guy? Controller is still upside down. Even though time is up, I guess. But that you know what? It's fine. Childish. We'll be nice. For Balmung of the Azure Sky, the descendant of Fiana. Both eating good tonight, dude. Apples, ham bones. I do not Anime speak with Nice. She's a known hit hacker. Why don't they just ban her, dude? That boy. He's a friend of your partner. Orca? I thought he would end up like Orca. What are you trying to get rid of Bo's beautiful and eyes for, man? That's what nice. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> he looks the same, dude. Just with a different fucking wing pattern. The head pattern. Whatever the hell. It was the voice of the girl who gave the book to Orca. I see. But what are you going to do if the data bug shows up again? That power put your friend... Um... Sorry. I don't even know what this power is or what she wanted Orca to do. And what am I supposed to do with this power? I think that's because you weren't supposed to be the one to All get it, my guy. All I do is help Orca. You were kind of an accident, a mistake. You're supposed to be the high level noble Orca. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's who was supposed to get the bug. Not some fuckboy that doesn't even know how to play the game. It is very 90s-esque. I'll give you that go. with Bo. Today was... Um... I don't know what to say, but... Good night. You too, bro. Oh god, okay. Oh, nope this way <laughs> how do we play the game it's, everything's backwards right, I don't think there's actually like any point in doing anything right now we're still so early in the game we might as well just hop out read the messages I want to like explore and just actually play some of the game but of course you know it's got to be anime as shit wait no back the triangle there we go log out okay Hey, new board messages. Coma deleted. What? Who deleted my message? Assholes, dude. The message I posted is deleted. Let's play tag. Challenge gob. Hello, everybody. I'm Stahoney, <laughs> the golden goblin gob. If you win tag against me, I'll give you a reward. Though that probably won't happen, gob. Good luck, gob. Oh, forgot something important, gob. Stahoney is that detestable golden sunny demon. Come alone, Gob. I dislike Gob. How do we quit? <laughs> I went to read my mail. I wasn't sure where the buttons were. You're getting PTSD from Gob. This volume will go above and beyond the world with strategy tips and advice on how to get the most enjoyment from the game. Good luck. 
The World for Idiots. Can we get a copy of that sent directly to us, please? There we go. Black Rose, I don't really understand it, but I will believe you. I'm actually really busy, but I hope you want to have time, so call me up. Uh, thanks. Thank you. It's good to know. Send. Helba. I've seen your powers. You can rewrite the monster's data by performing data drain when the OK sign is flashing. If you use it wisely, it will be very valuable in the future. You will need its powers. How did she know the OK sign was flashing? Did she hack us? Damn hackers. You can check the spread by engaging the skill selection menu. When the spread is at 100%, there may be a lethal effect on your character, so be aware of the spread of the viral infection. If you defeat monsters without using data drain, then the spread will decrease little by little, so do not let it, let it get above 100%. And another warning, you are always being watched. Though you may not wish it, you will be the eye of the storm in the world. That is the fate of the one who bears the bracelet. Prepare yourself. You know too much, dude. She knows about my bracelet. Also, I'm turning the controller back around now. It's been 10 minutes. <laughs> it's just fucking weird having it upside down. <laughs> Seems legit, Gob. No red flags, Gob. All right, fucking moogles. <laughs> it's a new virus brought to us by the world. <laughs> no comas here, Gob. God, I hate everything. <laughs> Koopo. That's what it is. I couldn't remember what they it fucking say. Like My memory cat. doesn't work. <laughs> is it possible to edit like that? More fucking hackers, I swear, dude. Oh yeah, I saw it too. I prefer bunny girls though. I mean, you know, both have their place. <laughs> Not finishing that. <laughs> Anyways, continue. <laughs> Guess we should go check out this cat girl then, huh? You are the best race in Final Fantasy XIV, so I can agree with that. Man, I need to play more FX, uh, the FFXIV Final Fantasy XIV. Uh. <laughs> it's probably my favorite MMO that's like out there right now, but I don't have time to play MMOs. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's get ready then. Uh, Mia! So is she just like role playing a cat or did a cat somehow Excuse get a me. VR headset on? Like, <laughs> some of the mannerisms and the aromatic grass thing, you know, it's yes, a little you. weird. That's a unique bracelet. Thanks, glad you like it, my guy. Can I take a look? No, you cannot. When you see Blue it? protocol, yes, I have course. not. Do you mean to say you can't see this nice bracelet? Even if you can't see it, as long as you know it's there, it's the same thing as seeing it, right? Because I'm not a hacker, bracelet? Dick. Hey, what are you talking about? I can't see any bracelet, Mia. I mean, yeah, but like I don't well, role play it though. You know what I mean? Again, all the power to you if that's how you do stuff. And I think role play servers are pretty neat. I just don't have the well, Mental fortitude to do it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I just, uh, when I play video games, my mind just shuts off, man. Like, I don't... <laughs> not that it's usually running all that quick, to be honest, but even more so whenever I'm just grinding away some, some mobs on whatever MMO I'm playing or mining for the 12th hour straight on RuneScape. Just a wee bit off, huh? It's an early prototype. Oh, God. When did Final Fantasy XI come out? Because, of course, that was a, a pretty prolific MMO for the PS2. It's like, I think it would have been really cool if they made this like an actual MMO, you know? That's all I was saying. Now, obviously, MMOs are harder to make, not to mention the extra time and money that it takes, but... I have nothing to trade you. Also, I found your your twin here, Waffle and Judah. Nasia? May 16th, 2002. And when did this game come out? I think it was a little bit earlier than that. Uh, it's copyright, uh, copyright 2001, 2002. Yeah, so around the same time. Like, 
game is so awesome. What? No, I'm not one of the programmers. Suspicious smiley face. Should we go chase down Gob? That world might be a little bit too uh, OP for us. Like, <laughs> No, it's not sus, dude. He said he wasn't one of the programmers. M-78. That's an interesting name. Heard that if you wander around here, it raises your defense. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. Chase down God and fight him? What? <laughs> Where did that come from, my guy? <laughs> uh, No, no, Gob. <laughs> I, I think that area is a little too high leveled for us from going off a of memory here. We should probably just grab Black Rose if she's available. Okay. She is. And then... Word list. Uh, this one. Back to the one we did the first time. Just to, you know, grind out a level or two. You're curious about God? He's not that bad. He's just this annoying little goblin that's fast as fuck. You have to chase him down. It's pretty harmless, honestly. It's not that bad. And then, because I'm lazy, I'm gonna pop a fairy orb. Oh, there's nothing here. That's lame. Does each world only populate once? I thought when you left and came back, it repopulated. Uh, throw in the amateur blades. Yep. Did you lose a golden axe? Or was it a silver axe? Neither, actually. What? Neither one? It's true. Hmm. Let's see. Then is it this? <laughs> Till next time. Goodbye. Talk about what? irritating things. <laughs> They're right. so fucking dumb. This item is way better than before. Phantom Blades, let's go. Right, let's go ahead and equip that. Phantom Blades, that's better than our Steel Blades. We'll put it on. And uh, da -da -da -da, go explore this dungeon real quick. Get a quick, uh, try to get a quick level or two. Look at those bad boys, right? We're moving on up in the world, dude. After we do this dungeon, I'll go to the Gob world. And we'll try to, to chase down Gob. Yes, it's happening, whether you like it or not, dude. Gob is coming. Hmm. Words. Headgear? Uh. Items. Fortune wire. Use. Friggin' dying. Gross. <laughs> nah, y'all just need to get your head out of the gutter. Oh, wait a second. Oh, okay. This has more physical. That has more magical. Okay, that's the difference. Da, da, da. Okay, nothing for us. How do I change? Can I change, like, their armor and stuff or no? I think we have to, like, yeah. talk. What? And then, like, trade. Yeah, or gift stuff to them. For them to use it. I forget what kind of character she is, though. It's probably not worth dealing with right now, anyways. Yours has fully entered the sewer. You should probably go fish it out, my guy. You might need that at some point. <laughs> it's me. I was going to say not that you really use it all that much anyways, but... Then I didn't want to be mean, but then I thought it was funny, so I said it anyways. <laughs> so, my bad. <laughs> As I said before, this is literally the whole game, by the way. Which, again, is why I'm so iffy about whether uh, I want to put it on the game, games to complete list or not. I think I am going to, but if nobody ever votes for it, I won't feel bad. I'm like... <laughs> I get it, my guys. I just really want to know more about the story. And plus, I can just do mindless grinding for hours. It doesn't bother me that much. Like, I don't... 
Got him. Okay, uh, how do we data drain? Is it square? Triangle? Oh, wait. Yeah, see, it's flashing. How do we data drain? I forget. Oh, God, no, that's first person mode. Well, it's dead. Skills. It's under skills, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> if you took me seriously, you'd be offended very often. Fair, honestly. It's a very repetitive game for sure. Like I said, I wouldn't mind, but it would get very boring very quickly. I mean, just for you guys. <laughs> and at the end of the day, is the goal to, to please the viewers or for me to just play old video games that I never got the chance to finish as a kid? You know what I mean? <laughs> little from column A, little from column B. Yeah. Got to meet that happy medium, right? I mean, when you put it that way. See? Exactly. Exactly. It's fine. I'm not trying to grow. So, like, at the end of the day, I really don't care. Um, but, yeah. I can also just play it on my own time. Fuck the viewers. What are they good for? Yeah. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I'm joking. I love you all. <laughs> I don't mean it. Sarcasm? Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. I thought maybe it's just this world, but uh, I thought the worlds like respawned whenever you left and then came back. But maybe since that's like a set story world sort of thing, maybe that one doesn't. I don't remember. <clears throat> Brain doesn't work too well. All right, well, for us to meet Gob, we're supposed to go alone. So get out of here. Nobody wants you. Wait, did I disband? Okay. So. I must have accidentally hit cancel. Wordless, detestable golden sunny demon. Okay, it says battle level one. I'm sure we'll be fine. I probably should have saved first just in case, but oh well. It's not like we really did that much. It's not that bad. See, here he is. Let's play tag. If you win, I'll give you a reward. I really doubt that will happen though. I remembered his voice being terrible. I didn't remember being quite that terrible. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. Defeat the golden goblin running in the field. Hold on. Uh, items. Don't we have... Did it work? It did not work. Damn you. Makes you think of SpongeBob. It needs more modulation to be SpongeBob. Speed charm. My god, it takes forever to cast anything. <laughs> Our level being so low certainly isn't helping anything here. This would be a lot easier if our level wasn't one. Oh my god, dude. This dude has 190 HP too. Oh, let's go. Two hits? I didn't realize we were playing D&D &D here. Like, It's like with Morrowind, man. I'm really enjoying my time with Morrowind. Don't get me wrong. But the whole thing where if you hit somebody and then you just roll a dice to completely miss, except for turn-based RPGs, just bugs the hell out of me. <laughs> like, if I hit somebody, I should just hit somebody. <laughs> you did better than I thought. My bad for underestimating you. But don't get cocky. I'm only an apprentice of the four Gob Kings. You now have Goblin Cap. Let's go, dude. Equipment. Is that any good? I don't know what it is. Uh, It's worse in every way except... Curse a target? Neat, I guess. It gives us prevent poison paralysis, slow physical and element down. Uh, No. I don't think we need it. Since we're here, though, does anything else spawn here? Mm. 
No. Literally nothing. It's completely empty field. Alright, well, gate out. That's just a waste of a fairy orb, that's all. It's fine. Welcome to the game, exactly. <laughs> like I said, you guys really have seen the entire game at this point, by the way. I wasn't joking about that. Like, legit. It's done. Like, <laughs> this is the game. The entirety of it. We just repeat that same stuff that we did just there. Well, no, we can raise Gruntees eventually. <laughs> that's the that's the only other new part of the game. I mean, you get a couple new abilities, a couple new characters to go around with you and whatnot. Some interesting story bits, but yeah. Is this an event character? I saw a strange character in the dungeon of expansive haunted sea of sand. It was a little girl with long hair, but it didn't look like another player. She was kind of white, like a ghost, and moved without a sound. Oh, and the music might have stopped too. I could be mistaken, but if anyone sees her, please tell me. Test version of the world. Heard that there was a test version of the world before it came out. Has anyone played it? I mean, there's usually test versions of games. I tried a random keyword, but a warning message came up and I couldn't go in. I think it was closed oblivious twin hills. Anyone know anything about it? Hmm. <clears throat> I just started this game, I formed a three member party with my friends, and then there were all these strong monsters in the dungeon, and suddenly it was game over. Aren't the enemies in this game a little strong? Maybe you should just get good. Noob. <laughs> Depending on the area, the level of the enemy varies, so you have to find the area that's best suited for you. Area I recommend for beginners. A discovered primitive touchstone. Monsters don't vary that much in levels, so you won't die too quickly and see that dreadful game over screen. But there's five floors of this dungeon, and the ones on the lower level are pretty strong. So just don't go all the way down. You should probably raise your level to at least level 5 in the upper levels before you go down there. Okay. Keyword creation. Words for beginners. Uh, hidden is difficulty 1. Okay. Highest enemy in Delta server is level 20. In other servers, 30. Uh, okay. Interesting information about stuff. Do we have mail? Might as well check our email before we log in, right? Nope. Okay. Back to the world. We've got new keywords, at least. You can just put in, like, almost any keywords that you want and just randomly explore around, too. But uh, if you want to continue the story, you're probably better off going with the, the ones that are provided, suggested to you more often than not. Party. No, not log out. Party. Black Rose. Come on back, BB. Uh, word list. For beginners. Protected area. Area post on the board where the girl-like figure was spotted. Uh, let's start it with the beginner area, probably. Do that first, and then, you know, maybe we can move on to some of the other areas later. Ooh, but look how different it is. So fancy. I want to go to the fountain. That's all I really care about, man. I just like throwing things in the fountain and see what I get. Ah, uh, you know what I should have done? Legit. Buy more fortune bar. Another leather coat. Always nice, I guess. Uh... Maybe the goblin cap? Oh, it's a level 6 item, though. Do we have, like, a level 2 weapon or anything? I guess we have level 2 armor. Leather armor. Let's throw that in. <laughs> Instead of a grassy empty field, it's now a desert empty yeah, field. 100%, dude. That's... Is it better or is it worse? Looks like it changed into some... Something better. Oh, well. <laughs> it changed into a better thing that we already had. <laughs> Go us. God damn it. And it changes something we can't even use. <laughs> God damn it. Well, oh well. What you gonna do? 
do I want to use... Well, no, the game does tell you whenever uh, you clear everything on a, on a level. So I don't think we need to use the Fairy Warden. Might run out of wire, though, which is annoying. Bandana? Toss a Brigandine in next time? Yeah, I was just worried because, like, since this is a level 1 area, that's a level 1 whatever the hell that's called. So I was just worried about him downgrading it, honestly. You know what else we're going to do because this takes forever? I mean, I probably shouldn't really worry about that with such low-level low gear in general. Like, it's really not that big of a deal if it does get messed up. Just to show you guys what the Data Drain does, you can Data Drain just about anything in the game once you weaken it a little bit. It just plays this fancy cutscene, and then sometimes it'll turn it into something useful, other times it'll just turn it into like Viral Infection has spread, you know how Virus Core A, and then it turns into like a weaker version of the monster. And also somewhere you can see how much like the infection has spread, but I don't remember where to look for that, so who cares? Uh, die please. Can we... Strategy. Wonder battle. Uh, no. Union battle. We should all be attacking the same enemy. Yes. Yes, I do agree with that. The infection system is good. Um, because otherwise, yeah, you could just, like, weaken every enemy a little bit and then just turn it into nothing, basically. So it's definitely a good thing to have in the game, don't get me wrong, I just don't really care right now. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal at the moment for us. I don't know why I'm collecting the cactuses and stuff, like, we're not going to get to the point of using Grunties. Can we... There we go. See any more portals, what I was going to say, but we already found one. Also, I forgot to heal. Ah, heal me. First aid. Thank you. Get wrecked. All of you. I think you can use the virus cores for something interesting. But I really don't remember how that works either. You respectfully demand to see a grunty at least once. I just don't think we're going to make it that far, my guy. <laughs> from from what I remember, it takes a decent amount of time to make it to the point where you uh, start getting grunties. You might see someone riding one through town at some point. Like, before you get one. I don't really remember, though. I give up. Give me the, the fairy orb. Oh, damn. They're everywhere. There's a bunch of them on this map. How were we missing all of them? Holy hell. Oh my god, there's a lot of monsters. Okay, we're, we're fine. Everything, everything's fine. Don't accidentally open the chest, though. First aid. Thank you. Actually, okay, I was gonna say I can't remember if you can even open chests in battle, but no, you definitely can. Congrats on the level up, Rose. I don't think we have enough fortune wire to open these. That's upsetting. Hey, Rose, I don't suppose you happen to have any fortune. Well, <laughs> I didn't mean to click it. That gave us a fortune wire, though. So that's nice. I mean, something at least. Uh, first aid. Where are you? First aid. What do you mean you don't have that skill? You've been first aiding me this entire time. People these days, dude. No, don't return to town. It keeps, like, moving twice whenever I try to quit once. Just wreck on myself, then. Oh, 
we no longer on Union Battle? No, we are. Okay. Guess it just takes you a second to like stop fighting the enemy you're already fighting to move to the next one. Mean swords be mean. They stab me and it hurts. No good drops, man. Can't we just get like a god tier weapon and then rush straight to the end boss or something? Just like as a one in a million chance. Honestly, I don't know how game developers don't put stuff like that in their games more often. I'd be so tempted to, man. Like an ex it's extremely rare, like very, very rare drop but just like well above and beyond anything that you're supposed to get at that point nowadays with data mining it's not as fun but you know back in the day that'd be so much fun it's like you'd be sitting around the lunch table with your friends and that one friend would be like so i was playing you know so and so hit game last night and you'll never believe what item i got and i uh, just go on to explain this thing and just nobody believes i'm like obviously that's fake dude like, yeah, sure, you got God's left testicle or something, you know? Like, <laughs> I think you're full of shit, dude. And then, <laughs> but in reality, he did, you know what I mean? And it just, like, you pull it out and everything dies instantly. Just insta-kill, insta-win weapon. Nowadays, with data mining, though, the game would be out for two days and everybody would know about God's left testicle and it just ruins the fun. Not return to town. Rep. Rep. Heal me. Thank you. Oh god, we're slow again. Remember telling your friends you can technically get three Chronicle Swords in Dark Cloud. No one believed you? I don't know what that is. So I mean, I, I know what the game Dark Cloud is, but I don't, I don't know what that uh, what the Chronicle Swords are. So as far as I'm concerned, you're just lying. <laughs> You're making it up. You can't get three Chronicle Swords. The most you can get is two, and even that is next to impossible, okay? Obviously. God. Do you even game, bro? I have an uncle that works in Nintendo, and he told me that you're wrong. But you can get, insert name of extremely rare item, uh, in the first level of the game if you push the truck to the side and fight the Mew that comes out from underneath of it. <laughs> totally. Wait, what level are we now? Status. Three, okay. We're getting there. <laughs> We're losing him. Uh, I'm not sure I was ever here. So it was one of the final evolutions of one of the swords in the game. And you can get the Chronicle Sword 2 from completing all 100 floors of the Demon Tower. That sounds like a pain in the ass. <laughs> you in the truck. Uh, didn't they? Didn't they? Uh, was it? Was it? Was it? Uh, Pikachu and Eevee. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. That they put an Easter egg in for the Mew truck thing. feel like they did like there was something there not a pokemon but like an item or something if you examine the truck and let's go pikachu and eevee or maybe it was fire red and leaf green i don't remember but one of the games i'm pretty sure they ended up putting an easter egg in because like that was so so big of a thing back in the day All right, now that we cleared the field, we get to go to the dungeon so we can do the same thing again, but now in tight spaces. <laughs> this is literally the whole game, by the way. Like, what is this confirmation? This confirmation. Words are hard. Conversation. I feel like I missed the pull off. You forgot to pull out? What? I don't understand. No, I was just... I don't remember why exactly. But we were talking about weird rumors in video games. Like, once, yes. 
I should have expected that. Yeah, you, you do have a child. This is fair. Meteor Swarm? I'm terrible in video games in general, but this one as well. Uh, about just using items. Like, I just, I hate using items, man, in RPG games. I just don't do it. They just sit in my inventory forever, because you never know when you might actually need it, man. And then you get to the final boss of the game, you have six million items, and you still don't use them. <laughs> like, just finish with, them, finish with them still safe in your inventory. It's fantastic. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl release. You could get out of bounds and travel across the ocean and reach Shaman before the event released. What? Is that true? I actually don't know at this point what's true and what's not. I also had... I had a code breaker for my PS2. I also had a uh, Game Shark for my Game Boy Color. And uh, it, it's a Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance that it was made for. I don't remember. But regardless, lots of cool things with that. Because, uh, like, I tried all the game FAQ stuff and whatnot back in the day to get, like, the event tickets to do this or that to get all of the, the rare Pokemon. Like, nothing would work. But eventually, you find codes for the Game Shark, and then you can just do whatever the hell you want. Like, you can have a Blastoise that's actually a Charizard. <laughs> And nobody's any the wiser, man. It's fantastic. Huge dev oversight, or did they mean to do it? I'm sure they didn't mean to do it. Like, <laughs> everything on the internet's true. This is true, man. Abe Lincoln said so. I saw a picture of his face saying that, so. I mean, you can't deny that. Like, it's literally a picture of Abe Lincoln, you know? With the quote underneath of it. So it has to be true. Data drain. Give me... Uh, probably just the virus. Fire infection is spread. Ooh, Earth Sword. Never mind. And now he's a worm. The little wormy. Aw, he's kind of cute, dude. I feel bad. But he needs to die, so... GG. All these infected chests. Really mad at myself for not buying more fortune wire, dude. Health drink. Always nice, I guess. We do have one. I'm torn between using it now or waiting till we get to deeper levels, though. I don't know if, like, deeper levels actually affect loot in chests at all, but... Years of RPG playing tell me deeper you go, better the loot. Love to watch more, but sadly, got to get up by seven to get your kid ready for school. You'll see me at work tomorrow, though, you think? Yeah, sadly, I'll be there, but <laughs> have a good night, man. Honestly, we're going to be wrapping up relatively soon anyways. I want to try to get to the end of this dungeon, but I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Because five levels, yeesh. Nello, what's up, my guy? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream, man. Sadly catching us near the end, but uh, happy to see you nonetheless, my guy. Let's see if we can get to the end before we die, too. That's the other big thing. Like, <laughs> Enjoy running through some random monster's stomach. Let's go. It really does look like that, huh? Reminds me of uh, the giant whale in Kingdom Hearts. What was his name? The giant space whale? Nope. Monstro! That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Words don't work for me too often. I don't really care about Black Rose, but can we, like... Oh, now you can cure and heal us? Okay, well, you got rid of <laughs> my poison. Can you get rid of yours and then maybe actually do the healing thing? You don't have that skill. You lie, man. You just did it not too long ago. This lady sucks. Huge cage nerd. Ask me anything. I probably have the answer. Anyway, this time for sure. Good night. Kingdom Hearts is also my favorite game series, so I feel it. But yes. <laughs> have a good night, my guy. 
and you're gonna die. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, da -da -da, skills. Skills, please. Rep. You only not got hacked because of Yuki Kajura? I'm not sure who that is. Is that a composer? Bloody age. Because it's you, I feel like that might be a composer of some sort, but I'm not sure. Yes, ha! Good guess, good guess. Hydrate? Just regular old water today. Nothing fancy, but sometimes that's the best drink, you know what I mean? Just some simple water. Okay, well, we did make it down to three, but apparently the monsters get deadlier the deeper down we go, so I'm not sure how long we're gonna live down here. But damn it, we're gonna try to make it to the end. Is this the dungeon? I remember, again, slight spoilers. I remember there's one relatively early on where we can find another uh, party member. But I don't remember which world that was, which uh, gate, or whatever you want to call it. Can we actually use the Earth Sword? Hmm. We're not really dealing with that much, like, magical stuff right now. So losing one regular defense and one regular evade for five magic evade, though. That is a lot of magic evade. I, I think we got to do it, man. And that's all we got. And then, okay. Even the sound when we move around sounds like we're walking around an animal's stomach or something, man. It's just very, it's very squishy sounding. Like, <laughs> it's not particularly, oh god. Uh, we're gonna die. What if I tell you to first aid now? Will you do it now? No, you still say you don't have that skill. I wonder if she just had like some items or something on her that let her do it. Hey, don't die, Black Rose. <laughs> Why do I have to heal you? Oh, shit. I didn't mean to tell her to use skills. I was trying to heal her, but I couldn't remember how. It's fine. See, everything's okay. It worked out in the end. Excuse me while I just steal the loot. Get wrecked. Weird bird lady. There's a chest this way, so I'm gonna go this way. Basement three and two more levels. We got this. I think if we use, is it fairy orb in the dungeon? There's a way to unlock the map in the dungeons. It might be fairy orb, it might be a unique item though. Like a different item, I don't remember. We're gonna try to get through it naturally, but it's not a terrible idea just to help us get to the end. Some of these paths can like go on for a long time and then just end up being a complete dead end. You suck. They're poisoning and shit. Bro, can you die, please? Bro, for real, though? Where'd he go? Let the little bastard go. Get wrecked. Uh, how about you cure us, actually? Thank you. Can't open the chest, sad day. Can't open that chest either. And before dead end? Yep, caught it. <laughs> Antidotes, always fun. But yeah, like, these are the things I was talking about earlier in the stream. That I'm pretty sure if we just leave this room and come back, all of these egg stacks will respawn. So if you wanted to, you could infinitely grind, like, basic healing items and money and stuff by just respawning a room like this that has a bunch of them in it and then just stacking this stuff up to max. It would take forever. 
if you wanted to grind for money. But for healing items, it's actually not all that bad. In the early game, at least. I don't know how quickly the HP balloons. It's like in the light game, it may not be uh, so worthwhile. Because, like, what? The, the health drinks, which is what we've been getting, only do 150. Which is about what we got now. The health potions, which I don't know how we got one of, but we have one of them, do about 400. So, I mean, I don't know, man. Maybe worth it, maybe not. Guess it depends whether you value your in-game money or your real lifetime more. <laughs> Should add the composer you just mentioned? She's only compu composed the music for animes. I mean, look, if you find what you like, man, and you're good at it, then why change, right? Like... <laughs> Do what you know and you enjoy. It sounds like she found what she knows and enjoys. Stayed. What? Oh, you must have ran out of antidotes. Oh, girl, what do I even keep you around here for? She did not compose for the games. Did they? Oh, well, I'm dead. First aid. Oh, we're back. You're about to die, though. Items, health drink. Oh, is she already dead? Oh, she is dead. <laughs> GG, Black Rose. I should just leave her dead. Oh, we can just watch her ghost running around. Morbid. What are you doing? Revive me? No, I want you to die. <laughs> We're gonna die. It's fine. It's time for us to go anyways. If we win this fight, we'll keep going, but I'm not gonna heal. GG, that's it. Like, yes, I do. I do know that there's a dot hack anime. I watched some of it growing up. I don't think I ever saw the entire series because like I just watched it on TV whenever it was on. I tried to watch or started to watch one of them. I don't re remember which one. But I started to watch one of them years ago, uh, but I never got around to finishing it. And then these games, actually, sadly, my copy didn't come with it, even though it was marketed as complete unboxed. But <laughs> the uh, the games came with with anime DVDs as well, like episodes, forty five minute DVD included, not in mine, sadly, but yeah. Very good stuff. I enjoy the games. I enjoy the anime. I'm still torn on whether to put this one on the list of games to complete or not. I don't think it's a good game for stream, to be honest. But it's a game that I want to finish, and I don't know if I'll ever have time unless it's on stream. So, I don't know. We'll have to figure that out later. A few movies in three seasons, you believe, was never interested to watch anything of it. I find, like, the overall story really cool, but, like, the whole idea of being sucked into a game and trapped there and that affecting real life. You know, the same thing with, like, Sword Art Online and all that BS. Um, very interesting. But, anyways, have a good night, Chocobo. You basically know nothing of Dot Hack. It's basically, like, late 90s, early 2000s Sword Art Online. <laughs> That's right, like... <laughs> <laughs> there are some characters stuck in the game, but not everyone is stuck in the game, like uh, like Sword Art Online. And then, uh, but there's there's the VR headset can affect you in real life because of like glitches and things. I like I said, I never finished the series, and it's been a long time since I've watched it, so I can't remember the specifics. But basically. Hackers cause problems, people go into comas, you're trying to save your friend with hacker powers. Something along those lines, depending which one of the series is you're watching. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. Anyways, guys, thank you all for coming and hanging out with me a little bit. Nella, it was good to see you and chat once again, my guy. Uh, tomorrow's Friday. If I remember correctly, it's a grounded night. So me and my brother will be playing some more grounded, trying to find that fourth chip still. I believe it's the fourth chip because we had uh, such a pain finding it last time. I don't think we ever found out where to look for it, but 
regardless that's what we'll be doing tomorrow night for those of you who can be there i hope to see you there for everyone else just have a wonderful day thank you all and as always be kind to each other bye bye y'all